everyone, it is Thursday, October 19th, and I'm just pulling into school at 7.20 in the morning. I had a sub yesterday, so I'm really excited to get in and see how my kids did. I had to stop and get breakfast at McDonald's this morning because I forgot to grab something. That's been happening a lot lately, where I really just have a protein shake in the morning, but I've been forgetting to grab it, and I think it's because it's only one thing that I have to think about, like one extra thing. Now I can't find my cell phone. Oh, that's because I am vlogging on it. Yeah, that could be the reason. I'm sitting here trying to put my wallet it my cell phone and my purse and I have no idea where my cell phone is that's because I'm all sung it all right so I'm gonna head into school get ready for my day because I really don't know what I'm doing yet and get started and see how my students did yesterday with the sub so I'm hoping I can reward them with something maybe a little extra treat today of watching um, like a quick magic school bus video or extra recess at the end of the day I don't know it's getting pretty chilly and I don't like recess duty because of the weather changing so much that I just don't like doing it so I don't know I gotta figure something out I know my sub did have skittles yesterday to pass out so I don't really want to reward them with skittles when they've already gotten it I know that our school does store coins so I need to get enough store coins and I could give everyone like one or two because they had two different subs yesterday. We had one in the morning because I had my data meeting from 8.30 to 10.30 and then I was in the classroom from 10.30 to 11.30 and then I left at the end of the day because of my appointment yesterday. Okay, anxious to get in there. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! I'm extremely fried. I'm very stressed out with getting things done because everything's piling up and I know I should take the time and stay late and that's what I'm doing today. I decided to tell Ian and my mom and my dad because they have to take Willie out. I need to stay late. I need to get things done. There are things that I have to print. There are things that I have to plan. And after taking yesterday afternoon off, it kind of just didn't really put me back, but today was a day that I was just playing catch up. So I just needed to stay late today and I've gotten a lot of stuff done, not as much as I would like to accomplish and it's crazy how fast time goes, but I wanted to share with you guys really quickly. Um, I got this cup holder from Amazon and my idea came from Pocket Full of Primary. So if you don't already follow her, she always like gives like these knickknack tips and tricks and I, I, I love it. <laughs> Such a good idea. But I also follow Blair Fowler and her Instagram and YouTube channel's name is Juicy Star 7 And I've been watching her since I first started enjoying watching YouTube videos. And she was actually one of the first like beauty YouTubers that I would follow. And I think I just repeated myself twice just saying two different things. Well, they have a line called Glitz and Glam. And they have these donut, these donut like heaters. Come on. And this thing plugs into your computer through a USB and it heats up and it can heat your coffee up and it works. Like I am amazed. Um, it's not hot, but it's a warmer. So it's gonna keep your coffee or your tea cold or warm. Again, I like have no idea what I'm saying. I just know that I needed to like tell you guys about this donut warmer. Cause how cute is that? So cute. So cute. All right, so I am going to finish getting my stuff done because I did say that it was going to be late and I think I'm going to stay here till like seven o'clock. I need to get my centers. Like sh math centers are stressing me out. I gotta get this Everyone, done. it is about 20 after seven. I am just now leaving school. I'm the only one in the parking lot along with maybe three other building service workers. I am on my way to Ian's to have dinner. I, I called him on the way out just to be safe and have somebody to talk to while I was walking out of school because I didn't move my car up. I should have, knowing that I was gonna be late, but I decided not to. I'm just gonna lock my car. Um, I mean, I trust my area, but you never know. So, rather be safe than sorry. It's good teachers if you're gonna be late to just call somebody when you're running out the door or um, locking your car when you get in. But I am so glad that I stayed late. I got so much accomplished, not Everything was co completed, but I got so much done that I'm very happy leaving my room the way that it looks. Centers are getting done. I finally was able to organize my manipulative. So at the beginning of the year, I didn't really know what I was going to be using with the second grade curriculum. So I had organized it in my closets, but now knowing more of the curriculum and, and knowing what I'm going to be needing the rest of the year, I pulled it out. I was able to pull it into the, put it into the bins that I had purchased. And that's 
that's why I'm glad that I had empty ones so that I could maneuver and move um, different centers and different manipulatives into the different bins. Does that make sense? Am I making sense? Am I like talking gibberish? It's 7.30. I need to go eat dinner. I need to go enjoy my company with my boyfriend and enjoy, enjoy my company with my boyfriend. Yeah. Uh-huh. So I'm going to enjoy my boyfriend's company and have dinner and then go to bed. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit the little bell if you want to be notified when my videos are. I'll be sure to fill you guys in how my week goes in the next coming of weeks. That didn't make any sense. Oh my gosh. Gotta go. Bye. Good morning. It is Thursday, October 19th. Finally, it's the 19th. There's really nothing special about the 19th, only that I'm just getting my dates mixed up. Today is our family fitness night, so we were allowed to dress um, kind of fitnessy, like we're going to the gym today to promote to our students a um, healthy lifestyle and to promote, um, I guess, fitness. So that's why my hair is braided. I'm wearing a Marshall sweatshirt and some LuLaRoe leggings with some shorts. And oh, I gotta go in and clean my table off because I have yet to do that. Um, I got so much done last night. I was here until about 7.30 and then I left and um, finally was able to spend an evening with Ian and then came home at a decent hour, showered and went to bed. I'm gonna head in, see what this day brings. Not really doing too much, anything special. I'll talk to you guys later this afternoon, bye. Hey everyone, I just got home from school. It is Friday, October 20th, and we had a half day today. We were able to work on our student learning objective, which if you haven't watched any of my previous videos, um, I will link the one where I talk about last year's student learning objective. We had to complete like our beginning of the year data today with my team and it went really well. When I got home though, I was able to find a lit joy crate on my front porch. So I thought what better way for me to include in the vlog, um, a lit joy crate unboxing because I usually do these as separate videos, but I think I need to start doing them like just in my vlogs because that's what I'm doing daily vlogs. So I'm opening up my lit joy crate. I've already like, un like done the tape or whatever. I don't know what this theme is, so I'm just going to flip the camera on and show you guys. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you unbox it. And it looks like these might be some candies. Not too sure, a Tootsie Roll Pop. I need to find the card that explains what everything is. Aha, this one. Oh, how cute, it's a Halloween theme. Boo. And it looks like I got two books, Creepy Pair of Underwear and Zombelina. Nice. These on the floor or my dog will get them. So I'm going to just do the best I can unboxing. So this is a craft. Very cute. All right, here are the tattoos. E.T. theme, that's cool. Frankenstein. What do you do when your underwear is about to get you? A hilarious story of a brave rabbit and a very weird pair of underwear. Creepy carrots. Oh, I've heard of creepy carrots. I haven't heard of creepy pair of underwear, but that's fun. Oh no. I think I'm excited for the mummy trick or treat bag. Oh, this is cute. It's a trick or treat bag, like a mummy. It's back on the back. All right, so we have creepy activities. If you liked Creepy Pair of Underwear and Zombelina, try these books next. Oh, this is thick. It's a sticker book. Ghost bath. Use stickers to decorate this Halloween scene. Oh, these are always fun. Creepy costumes. This is definitely a great item to put in a treasure box, but where are the stickers? Oh, here they are. Monster Ball. Potion Lab. Fun. I really like that Lit Joy Crate is starting to give us two books. The last two boxes I've gotten, they've given me two books. And I really appreciate that because it does make your money well worth it. Um, my box, I believe, is $90 for three. So to me, that's $30 a box. And that's $15 for a picture book. And I think I agree with that because when you go to like... Um, Barnes & Noble, each picture book is gonna be about $15. So this is Creepy Pair of Underwear. Never heard of it before. 
but it looks pretty interesting. I love the illustrations. It's a good quality book. That it's hardback. They don't just give you any random books. That's why I really am happy with this company. So here's a little about the book. If you'd like to pause the video and you can take a quick read. I'm excited. That looks very cute. The kids will get a laugh at that. And then Zombelina, I have heard about and I've seen some people mention it. Again, here's a little blurb. A summary of the book. Zombelina. Again, very good quality. It is hardback. Very cute. I'm so excited to read this to my friends. If you're interested in getting Lit Joy Crate, I will put it in the description below. I am currently, there's that word again, sitting at the supporting services building of my school district because I have to attend a foundations training. If your school does foundations, can you let me know and how you do it and get through it? Because uh, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> like, no idea. And no one has taught me. No one has told me. So I saw this come across in our Monday message from our principal emails and thought, I need training. If I want to be more than just a teacher one day, I need to know what programs are being used in our county. I need to be familiar with them. That was Welcome back to my channel. It is Tuesday, January 2nd, 2018. I just got to school. It's about five minutes before seven o'clock. I came early so I can use the copiers. I'm going to go inside and see how much I can get done. Hopefully I can get what I need done, at least for today. I have to be out a little bit tomorrow for a doctor's appointment. So that's definitely on my to-do list to prepare for. So hope my kids aren't crazy. It looks like it's a full moon. Oh, arriving back to the new year with a full moon. The kids are going to be off the chain this week just going over procedures and rules and kind of doing a review week. So we'll see how that goes. So I am just now sitting down to eat lunch and I am having cheeseburger soup. It might sound gross, but it's actually really good. It has like hamburger, pickles, cheese, and I don't really know how it gets that hamburger, cheeseburger taste, but it's actually really good. And I have um, some cornbread, which I'm probably not supposed to be eating, but hopefully my mom made it low carb and then a Diet Coke. So this is how literal second graders are when you ask them to put their post-it notes on my kidney table. I was expecting them to just put them in a nice column or stack them on top of each other, like whatever. No, they scattered them everywhere, which it's fine. I just thought it was really funny. So I just realized that I didn't give my kids their spelling words this week. Ooh, and it's a short week, so I'm gonna have to do a lot of centers, help them with their spelling words. This is what we did in geometry today. We sorted the shapes together, and then we did it in groups. Um, in grammar, we did a review of nouns, verbs, and adjectives, because what else are you supposed to do the day that you come back from break? This is that sort. And then we also went over author's purpose. We actually got a lot done today for it being the first day back. I'm really proud of my kids for how they behaved today and how much work we got done. It was a really successful first day back. I did have about four kids out, which was a little weird. I've never had as many as four students absent at one day, um, but mm, it was kind of nice. <laughs> I am on my way to a staff meeting and then I was going to plan. I have these mini lessons for author's purpose that I have to go through. I forget where I got these from, um, but I'm sure I'll be able to figure it out. Today was a good day back and I hope I remember to vlog tomorrow and we can keep this up in the new year. Bye. Good afternoon. Yes, afternoon. It is Wednesday, January 3rd and I had a doctor's appointment this morning so I actually had a sub in my classroom. I had to quickly prepare for that yesterday afternoon which does anyone else find that writing sub plans takes a lot longer than actual teacher lesson plans? Like we have to be so explicit in our instruction and in every detail so that the sub knows exactly what they should be doing because Let's face it, a lot of our kids try to tell the sub what they think should happen in the classroom when we're out and they think that they can get away with a lot more. Um, and I think that's what happened in my classroom this morning. For some reason, like, 
I pride myself on being a good teacher, but I will be 100% honest and tell you firsthand that when my kids have subs, they are reckless and they don't care. They just do what they want. And I have a few of those students that will kind of put other people in their place or tell the substitute, hey, we do it this way. This is what Ms. Kessler expects of us. Um, so I do have those students that I can rely on, but then I have the majority of the students that just, free day is a sub day. Or I guess sub day means free day, which there's a meme that's going around, I think, and it just says, a free day? Yes, let's have that, or something like that after the teacher has already created hours worth of lesson plans. I don't know, it's really funny. Um, so I am back. It is currently recess, which is my lunch time, and then students will come in at 1230 to do word work until one, they attend specials. Um, today's Wednesday, so we have art. Hmm. They're not so good in arts. So we'll see how that goes. And then I have them for about 45 minutes till the end of the day. So this was a pretty easy day for me. That's why I only took a half day. Our instruction time usually occurs in the morning from 8 to 11.30 and then they have lunch. So our second grade schedule is a little bit like, it's really hard in the mornings because they're long, um, but really easy afternoons, which I kind of like. It's all right. Um, some days it's good. Some days it's not so good. So I will check back in with you guys at the end of the day. So one of the Christmas presents that I got from one of my team members was a 2008 Happy Notes calendar. And I was able to like film the title piece of paper that it's on, I guess the front paper yesterday, but I wasn't able to actually look at January 1st or January 2nd's Happy Note. So I'm going to flip the camera around and show you guys what was for, what was on like January 1st, 2nd, and I guess the third, because today's third. All right, January 1. 2018 will have 365 days, 8,760 hours, and countless memories. Yeah, it's not worth it. <laughs> Happiness is not a state to arrive at, but a manner of traveling. Oh my gosh, this is so true. I've been telling people that my New Year's resolution this year is to be calm and content and to not let things bother me. I've turned off my social media notifications. I don't want to be caught up in having the anxiety of checking my notifications, checking social media, and I just want to be calm and content with my life. And I am content, but I want to be even more content. Like, I think my anxiety has really peaked last year, and it's just time that I take time for myself. And um, like this quote says, that happiness is not a state to arrive at, but a manner of traveling. So I'm going to travel to get to my state of happiness. And this is January 3rd. That smile looks great on you. Oh, I love that one. I have a goal of getting this all cleaned up today. It's actually an organized chaotic mess, but I need to throw some stuff away because I no longer need them and I don't like saving things. So my goal during planning, get this done. My other goal during planning is to get this cart cleaned off, just like the table, because there are some things on here that I need to throw away, like science and social studies units that are done. I need to move on. So next goal, clean this cart off definitely need to do it. Okay, so it is my lunch time, but I wanted to hop on here because I just looked down at my pants and there's milk spilt all down them. I had no idea what it was. I didn't know it was there, but it's probably from dumping the second grade trash at lunch. So I just wanted to ask you guys, what is your grade level process for dumping the food in the cafeteria? Do you have trays that you get to take to a counter? Do you have styrofoam trays where the trash has to be dumped, but you have to stack the trays? Because that's what happens with us. The Trash cans get really full when students just pile all of the styrofoam trays with their trash in the um, container of the trash can and it just makes it full um, a lot quicker. So what do you guys do? Because we have to dump the trash and then stack the trays and with second grade, they don't do it at all um, because they <laughs> can make spills, I guess, like the one that is on my leg. So this morning I was able to clean out my trunk finally after a few weeks. I have had these crate seats in my trunk for quite a long time. So my dad made them out of bus seats. These are the crates you could have gotten at Walmart. You can get them every year, probably all year. And he took some bus seats and just basically cut them in half and made them as the benches for my crate seats. I'm so thankful that I have a father that's handy like that and I can ask him to kind of make me whatever and he has an imagination big enough to um, make it for me. So really thankful for him and for my seats now. Um, I'm gonna have to teach my kids how to sit in them because I have a feeling they're gonna just stand 
on them, honestly. When I also have to make my school's new cafeteria bathroom passes. So let me show you that. So we currently have one to two staff members on lunch duty between every grade level. And we have these laminated note cards that say girls or boys, and there's three of each, and it's for those students that need to use the restroom during lunchtime. Our students all have to have passes when they're in the hall, even during cafeteria lunch breaks, so we know what each child is supposed to be doing and where they're supposed to be in case of an emergency. It's always there um, to keep them safe. And those passes have just gotten real gross. So I went to my principal and I asked her if I can purchase um, some of these push lights. And so I'm going to command strip them to our wall and I'm gonna write G and B for girls and boys. And when the child has to go, they just have to go to the wall and hit the light. And we're gonna to have to teach them not to smack the light. Um, but right now I have four of these in my classroom to address voice levels. I have zero through three. Um, because we don't really do four or five in my classroom. Um, some people would argue and say that four is like presentation level, but um, I mean, three is usually presentation level for my kids. My kids are really shy, so they don't really talk too much. I really should get them to talk more. Um, so I'm gonna do that this morning. And like I said, command strip them to the wall and we'll see how it goes. I don't, we've never done this before. So the only thing, left to do is try so I found these at Walmart they were like four bucks each and then the command strips I got at Walmart as well so this is crazy on my way in I dropped my camera but for some reason it seems to be working and it's working fine like that's insane I totally thought the lens was gonna break I was gonna cry because I was gonna have to buy another $400 camera and I mean I've had this one for maybe two years now that I use it off and on and now I'm starting to use it more but oh I'm so happy it works. I mean, I hope like Ian will have to look at it later. And I keep looking at the viewfinder because I'm like, oh, is it cracked? Is it cracked? Like, is anything wrong with my camera? But good morning. It is Thursday, February 1st. And I think this is going to be a thing where I vlog in the morning and maybe throughout the day, but not at the end of the day, just because I either don't have anything nice to say or I'm just really tired by the end of the day. These seven and eight year olds can wear you out. So this morning I have a conference at 7.30. I came in about seven o'clock. So I'm here ready to get assessments out for her uh, mother to see. And yeah, uh, it should go well. I'm gonna get morning work all out. I'm gonna get everything set up so that um, when I'm having this conference, the only thing that has to happen is the bell rings and the kids come in. So um, I guess that could be kind of a lifesaver, but not it really doesn't have to be. I'm not too worried about it. Yeah, I'm, I also have to eat breakfast. So I'm gonna let you guys go and I will check in with you later and eat my breakfast and kind of prepare myself. Okay, bye. I am back and just wanted to report that the conference I had this morning went really, really well. So it is lunchtime and report cards are due today at five o'clock. I still have about five kids that I need to look at their reading grades and enter report card grades for reading. Like I said, for those five kids, I just repeated myself in a different way and I'm looking and I have 10 unread emails that I need to read. All right, well, I'll see you guys in the Poconos. <laughs> Unless I have something to say, I mean, ugh. okay, bye.